I'm actually a multidisciplinary artist. Um, I basically go from drawing to painting, to installations, video. Uh, the media is basically my physical solution to my worries or my interest, basically. I love the idea of uh, putting things together in the concept of um, what I feel, how can I express it, how can I show it, how can I actually create something out of it. Everything is a collaboration. I always call it the collaboration between my heart and my brain. I always believe in the reason, the object and the world, because those are like the three entities that I actually live with. The reason to be, the object to hold or to cherish, and also the word that will actually identify or explain what I want to say. There are two things that actually have to function for me to exist. What I want, how can I get it, or how can I show it? My work is basically, I want to call it a scientific experiment of things that exist that become my instruments to actually to create something new. The concept of memory, family, ancestry, where I'm coming from, where I am, where I am here, the miracle of me being here, uh, all the move, human movement that took uh, and happened for me to be here, uh, those are actually uh, super interesting to me because everybody's actually a mix of uh, so many things. Even when we look like one, we are so many. In the position of being one thing in another place, you really don't understand that I became Dominican the moment that I left my country. What does it mean to be from that country? What is the country really is? It's not just the funny stuff, the baseball, the great music. It's more than that. It's really, it's actually, you almost have to go back and see the history of where you're coming from, the people that made that country. The moment that you are out and you become, I think, closer to what you really are, but also at the same time, it makes you closer to everybody else that is in, are in the same position as you. It's not easy leaving your country, even if you do it by choice, because you are really not only living physically, you live and lose a lot. You, lo you lose years, experiences, things that happen that you don't realize until you, you're thinking, I was not there. The concept of home, that's when the concept of home is different. Only when you are away is when you realize exactly what are the concepts. What does really mean? That's why I, it's not that I'm always collecting stuff, but there are certain things that I have to have with me from there. That's when you start realizing, this is my old home in my new home. I like the idea of being a presence and being home at the same time. But it's pretty important for me to be content. I'm in New York and content. And it is home for now. Uh, resemblance the Dominica, the Dominican shirt that were made by hand uh, because that's actually where my memory comes from. I grew up with shares, but uh, to tell you the truth, the shares actually always been a very uh, interesting object. I mean, in antiquity, it was supposed to be an object of a power. Only the kings uh, will actually be sitting in shares, people will be sitting in the floor. So it meant that if you were in a share, you were a leader. I also see as a Object of uh, domesticity. That is super important for me because actually that means home. Uh, when there is a chair in a house, most likely it's going to be a table and there's going to be another chair. So that means that there are people sitting around and that becomes community, that becomes family. And also, it's one of the first furniture that people have in a house. When you settle somewhere in a place, you most likely have a chair. That means that your history is stopped there for a little bit and then you have almost like a pinpoint. Just, you can start a map. You're thinking, where do you sit or where do you have your first chair and the last one? So I like the idea of settlement. I like the idea of being a place. And also the idea of like, when there is a chair, most likely there is a home. Uh, even if you move it, the concept of home never goes away. One of my favorite installations, I will say, will be uh, this session, the Dreamer is a, uh, the subject of the Hispaniola is a very po political one, and it's a very actually touchy one. And uh, there is so many um, politics and disagreements, and that is actually somehow very hard to kind of pinpoint because you don't want to really be in one side or the other when there is no one side or the other, it's only one. one. 
Um, the Hispaniola for me is one of the most amazing uh, places. It's, I call it the mighty island. It's the land of many firsts. Everything happened in the new world. Everything happened, happened there. The two nations are so different, but also we have so many things in common. We, I mean, Haiti defeated French, the French army. We defeated the Spanish army. We have been all our life defeating people. And still, we are in the same land. And I always think that we are like the longest, like a much, uh, like love story of the new world. We always see some kind of uh, disagreement or fight, but we at least stayed there. And for 500 years, we have been in the same place. So it took, me, it took me a few years to kind of figure it out. What could we do with that? I always take notes of how big Haiti is, how big Dominica, Dominican Republic is. So I always compare numbers and we a lot of data. So the installation has 40 shares because that's our age difference from 1804 to 1844. And I, I made sure that it didn't touch the ground because I have nothing to do with the ground. I wanted to be off the ground because it's not about frontiers, it's not about politics, it's not about whoever did that line that divides the two countries. I have no idea. That was not my interest. My interest is exactly what we are. And the idea of the tree was because the tree is the most resilient being. I mean, it grows up against gravity. I can only that there is nothing more resilient than that and also more hopeful of a branch. And Haiti should be one branch and don't make the other one. There is nothing more beautiful for me than when I did that installation and someone came to me and told me, this reminds me, of, reminds me of home. And he was from Haiti. And for me, that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what I want. That's because for me, that's home and that's home from him too. And you know something? This is what the work is about. I basically write I paint, I create, I invent things, and I try to find what will be the most efficient way to actually show what I want to, what I, what I see. There's so, so many writings that, you know, last for years and they don't come out, you know, years later in one painting because I was the, almost like, I found the right moment for it because of circumstances, because of placement, because of worries, I mean, there is not really a formula. It's really just, uh, I will call it the release of energy. I really basically follow what my hands want to do when I actually pay. I will call it the process, and it's actually very simple. And sometimes I actually do it in half an hour. Sometimes it takes three days. I don't know what it is, but it is basically Expression is uh, ideas, is um, compositions, is layers and layers of uh, color. I mean, there is coffee. <laughs> the background is coffee. I need coffee always. Not only to drink it, but actually to paint with it. Usually I do black and white just because color for me means things. If I put red, it will be too much passion. If I put blue, it will be blues even though that's my Caribbean say. But, uh, I always think that the black and white and the grays have everything that I need. Because it's not really about the meaning of it, because if I put color, then I will have a meaning. And the meaning is not in the color. The meaning is in the line and in the drawing and in the gradation of rays and how one color becomes another. And I like all these who's, who's of, of, for me it's color. When I see all the, uh, matisses of uh, of gray, um, there is also it's it's also very simple to use one or the other. Um, that's all I I want to be. It's almost when I use numbers, I always go from one to to nine, but zero to nine. Or the words are very simple. It's almost being back to the basics with the first two. That's it. It is completely physical. Sometimes it could be exhausting, sometimes it's not. I think it's fun because basically uh, it's just uh, something that I have to do and I want to do. And sometimes it's in my head for the longest time and when I come to the studio, it's actually with like, closed eyes and in silence because I don't need distractions. I, I, I need to basically follow what the energy does.
I don't really like to talk. <laughs> I'd rather write and people to read it. Uh, not because I'm even shy, it's just because I think that that's actually my best instrument when I actually kind of, I am more honest. Maybe because when you write, things exist. When you say, things may fly. If, if you, you are recorded as different, but even then it can be changing. But when you write it, it is, um, in, I call it, it's in stone. I just don't want you to read. I just want you to actually feel that there is a movement, that there is a, a, a thought, there is an afterthought, there is a ideas, there are things, there is a relationship, there is a conversation there that means that I am actually existing. There are words that you, you don't have to understand. <laughs> Those are the words that are for me. <laughs> uh, uh, I want you to understand words that actually say it a lot in, in a little space. Uh, words that actually you will actually kind of wake something in you. Um, the word I, the word you, the word uh, here and there. When you hear, when you see the the word you, you actually looking at yourself. So my yo, my I becomes you, and your you becomes I. So we actually, there is a reversing roles. At that point, when you read it, what is there is yours, nothing to do with me, and that's what I like. It's almost like a soul opera. The, you are the start of the experience. The work is very personal, it's a, a, a sometimes autobiographical, but it's not. I just want to express something and make the, someone else to feel close to it or own it. Uh, when I chose something, it's not mine anymore. It's actually someone else, and I like the idea when someone actually takes it in and becomes something else, because everybody has a different uh, interpretation, and I love that. I love the fact that what one thing is for me is something is for you. But the point is that we touch each other and we connect. And there was one thing in common that we had, the sensation. Being, uh, maybe I can actually give you a word to identify that sensation. Maybe I can give you an object to identify what you're feeling or you have. Uh, but that's what I want. I want you to own it. <laughs>